Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, One Mom Plus Three TV. I am back with another video, and today we are doing our first pescatarian free frugal. I was gonna say freezing <laughs> frugal uh, poor man's meal. So today we are making catfish fantastic. Um, this is definitely my own recipe. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you how it's done. So excuse my phone with all those notifications in the background. I got some vegetable shortening. We're not using animal fats for this recipe. So this is just whipped pretty much whipped cooking oil. There's no animals in this. So I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of that. Yeah, so it's just soybean and palm palm oil. So you guys can see the in, uh, ingredients right here. Okay. So now that we have that heating up, let me tell you how this is going to go. Now we're gonna do a deep. Uh, we're gonna do a deep pan saute on our catfish. I have one pound of catfish here that cost me about one dollar. So today's frugal meal, we have some pasta sauce that was given to us from a neighbor. So we're going to be incorporating that, about a couple tablespoons of that. Um, I'm going to do some pasta that we also was gifted from uh, a neighbor because uh, she's she has some health issues, so she can't eat any sugar. So you guys know that pasta is made with a little sugar and so is uh, pasta sauce. So we were gifted all this pasta sauce and pasta. So pretty much this meal is going to feed, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, five people for one dollar. Okay. So. Yep. That's eight. That's four of us in the van. That's five. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in about three tablespoons of uh, butter to uh, that heat the hot oil or the shortening. Okay. The ingredients that I'm going to be using, you guys already seen the all uh, the all vegetable shortening, um, the butter. We have our one pound of catfish. We're going to be using seasoning salt, parsley flakes, accent, Old Bay, Cajun seasoning. Paprika, white pepper, and you're also going to need some pasta sauce, about, uh, I want to say about a good four to five tablespoons of pasta sauce, and you're going to need a one-third cup of milk of your choice. We, let me tell you what milk we're using. So this is the milk that we're going to be using. It's 1% uh, low-fat milk. Um, 
All natural dairy product, grade A, vitamin A and C. So this is the milk that we're going to be using. And you also are going to need maybe about a one tablespoon of flour. Okay, so now our butter is melted. And then we're going to go ahead and drop, let me drop that catfish in there, but let me take it off the bag. So again, this is called catfish fantastic, okay? This is going to be a delicious herbal recipe. Now these are catfish nuggets that I bought uh, previously about maybe two months ago that just been sitting in a freezer and I never had uh, a way of using it so I'm using it now and I smell like catfish that smells good. Let me go grab my pasta. So we're going to be using some thin spaghetti that I got. We got a ton of these. We got like, I want to say about 10 of these that I got from my neighbor. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and season the fish. So now I'm going in with seasoning salt. I'm not adding a ton of seasoning salt because fish it has already has like this salty type of taste white pepper it already has a salty kind of taste to it so keeping it really simple adding in Cajun uh, seasoning If you have catfish and you can't fry it or you don't want to fry it, accent. Old Bay. Now, don't put the, uh, don't put back that, uh, butter. Because we're going to need that for like the ending of it and to put in our pasta. So, you're going to need about another two tablespoons to put in the end. And you're going to need a one tablespoon to put in your uh, bowl of water. So, at this point, uh, you can go ahead and put in that uh, tablespoon a butter for your pasta. Does anybody know where my sea salt is? No, nobody. Where's my sea salt? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and add. You found it? No? Okay. I'm just going to add regular salt to my water. Okay. 
this catfish is starting to smell like a seafood bowl. Mm. It smells so freaking good. So you want to definitely get those seasons mixed around in there. You're also going to need to add uh, probably more paprika at the end. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know. So while the fish is cooking, I'm going to add in that parsley to get that parsley opened up. So, let me go ahead and add, I'm going to go ahead and add my tablespoon of butter to my, uh, well, oh man, I dropped a whole spoon in there. That's going to be hot. I didn't even want to grab that. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Ah, that was hot. So, going to go ahead and stir in that tablespoon of butter. You don't need all that oil in your pasta. You just need one tablespoon of margarine butter of your choice. That way you're not... Because then you know they tell you don't rinse your pasta and all that. But then you're leaving all the oil on there. And what is oil? Cholesterol and high blood pressure. So just do one tablespoon, okay, of margarine or butter. Make sure it's unsalted. Because we already have the uh, salted uh, water there from the salt, okay. So, let me show y'all what it's looking like so far, y'all. So, this is what we're looking like so far with the catfish. Look at that, y'all. Mm. Tell me that don't look good. And it looks like a little bit, but guess what? That's going to feed all of us. All five of us. There go my water. So... And I'm going to show you how. Because once this catfish is cooked, I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just going to like pretty much do a rough chop on it, okay? I mean, we can start breaking up like the smaller pieces, definitely. Can somebody put me um, a tablespoon of flour in a bowl? Please. I used to make this a lot when I used to eat catfish a lot. Um, I used to make this for the kids. And they used to love this. But I don't know, for some reason, because I was with my ex and uh, that person didn't like catfish, so I just stopped buying it. Yeah. 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 Breaking down the catfish now. I know y'all hear the people 
arguing in the back. Oh, I can't wait to move away from this drama-filled mess that they have going on back there. So this is going to be like, if you ever wanted to know what like a creamy seafood sauce would be, this would be it. It's like a lot of kids can't handle spicy and that cream is going to come in and take away most of that spiciness. So that's what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to let this cook for a few more seconds. I'm going to go in and throw my pasta noodles in. I can't even open this. My nails. Let me get a knife down. And then what I'm going to do, where's the mail, Lolly? Uh-uh, don't sit there for Just sit Why is Shiny have No, they have It says to the parents, a guardian of a Shiny. Not to a Shiny. Don't ever give my mail to a child. So. I just got that message right now, actually, when they just called me. Oh, pick that up, please. I don't want to open it. If you guys want to know what I'm drinking, this is what I'm drinking. It's like a Gatorade. It's great value. It's a great electric light. Electrolyte, electrolytes, okay, and um, tastes just like grape Gatorade. You ask me. So that's what I'm drinking while I'm cooking. So no, I'm not drinking any alcohol beverage or anything like that. Let me turn the pasta water down so okay so this is how I cut the fish down let me show y'all so here's how I cut the fish down can you see that okay can I can I get a spoon please And I'm going to take one tablespoon of just all-purpose flour and try to get out some of those lumps. So, one tablespoon. Just sprinkle it all over in the pan. 
I may add half. Okay. Now we're just going to move this all around the pan. Excuse me. I think I'm gonna add a little more. So let's go ahead and do two tablespoons, okay? So I hope you're following this recipe. Y'all will not regret it, okay? So I'm gonna just sprinkle in all over. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix it. Now I'm going to drop in the rest of my butter. Alright. So we're going to break that butter down. Okay. Asparagus would have been good in this if you would have cut up some asparagus. Let me shake up the milk. Oh, it's coming all out. Go ahead and add the milk throughout. Okay. Where is that uh, pasta sauce at? So, we add, I added the milk already. So, I added about a half cup of milk. If y'all want measurements. Not this one? Tomato basil? Yes. Wow. So, going in with the tomato and basil, I'm going to add, depending on how it looks, I literally just splashed my shirt. That's two. That's three. That's four. Okay. Let's stir this in. Let's see how it looks. Oh, Lord, look at that. Tell me that don't look good, Lily. That looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. So it turned into like this thicker, creamy style sauce okay okay yeah so I'm gonna do four more so I see it's enough okay One, two three and four so that's eight tablespoons of pasta sauce so far so I hope you guys are keeping up Oh, and if you guys did not know that this pasta sauce was also free from my neighbor. She gave us a ton of these. So I'm going to show you guys what this is looking like. It okay. smells amazing. This is our first pescatarian meal. E fish. Okay, and it's still looking a little thick. So, so let's just say a half a jar, okay? That's three, four. That should be definitely enough. So, a half a sauce, I mean, a half a sauce. Put the lid back on that and put it in the fridge. So, a half a jar of uh, pasta sauce, okay, should be enough. Okay, now, let me show you, because it's real steamy in here, so it might be a little hard. So, this is the sauce. Can you see that? Look at that sauce, y'all. Mmm. It's creamy gonna be delectable okay 
Now we are going to add a little milk just to thin it out a tad because it's still a tad bit too thick if you see what I mean. Like if I pick it up, it doesn't strain right away and it strains like a little slow. So a tad bit more of milk. So I added about one third of a cup of milk. And then that uh, butter sauce that's going to be on top, y'all, is going to be so, okay, now it's the consistency that I want. Now I can see how quickly the sauce drains. Let me show you. Okay. So I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to try and get it eye level, and let y'all see, but it might strain before I get up there. Look at that. See? It's already strained. That's the consistency I'm looking for. Who wants to be the first one to try the sauce? Come on. So, I'm going to let my baby cry. Oh. Come on, mom. So, a little piece of fish in it. Come to the camera. Blow. Here, hold it. You gotta blow. Let me check on the pasta. Delicious. This tastes delicious. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, mommy's cooking this good, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get. Pasta noodle strands. Turn off both pots. Okay. And then I'm going to come back with the final and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to taste this. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, so look for that video next of um, what it looks like plated and um all that type of stuff and then we're gonna i'm probably gonna do a mukbang on it so i'll see you guys in the next video um if you like anything in this video give this video a thumbs up if you or if you want to try this recipe or if you're thinking about trying this recipe give this video a thumbs up and uh if you are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so right now Hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any video that I may be uploading in the near future. And, uh, yeah, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.